In the dawn of 1565, two great armies met in the heat of battle on a small, barren island in the middle of the Mediterranean. Victory could go either way. Defeat would mean disaster. The war came to be known as the Great Siege of Malta. The defenders were the Knights of the Order of St. John, the last of the Crusaders. The aggressor was the greatest military force the world had ever known, the Ottoman Empire. Only Malta and Sicily were his stumbling block. Malta's defences had to be improved. The main entrance to the Grand Harbour was undefended on its northern side, so it was decided to build a fort on the tip of Mount Sherbara. This fort would not only command the entrance to Grand Harbour, it would also protect the entrance to Marsamshet Harbour on the northern side. Thus, Fort St. Elmo was built. Yet for all that planning, there was no overcoming its weakness. It stood on low ground. From the slopes of Mount Sherbara, it could be dominated by artillery. The second fort was built on Senglea Point to provide cover for the east flank of Fort St. Angelo. The fort was named after St. Michael. Birgu and Senglea were effectively converted into one massive defensive position. To completely seal off the area, a great chain was slung across the narrow neck of water to ward off any seaborne attacks. A small relief force of four galleys had arrived. The force, numbering 700 men, was known as the Piccolo Socorso. Their arrival injected new life into the defenders. Not knowing the numbers of the relief force and fearing the worst, Mustafa Pasha decided to attempt a negotiation.